Guys, now we know why they only showed one side of the poster in the poster collection from Prismatic Evolutions. It is because this was on the other side. If you don't know what, it, what this is, we know the top cards of this, but look at the bottom. Look at the bottom! We're gonna zoom in a little bit, there's another picture of these ones. If you don't know what these are, these are the special illustration wares for every evolution, including Eevee itself. Oh my god! Um, I was not ready for this, and I think we were, all of us were not ready for this. Are you freaking kidding me? We get all nine special illustration wares already? And the interesting thing to me is that we get all this news for English. Like, there's ha there hasn't been anything on the Japanese side of the, of the set. With the special illustration wares, full arts, whatever. Like, these are all the English cards. As you might notice, it is not too sharp. It is probably, like, zoomed in a lot from a from a leak. I don't know where it came from, uh, but they will read upon this. But, oh my god, guys, we are not ready for this set. Um, there's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot I want to talk about. I'm gonna give my thoughts on all these cards. Uh, and we're gonna talk about like some speculation. We're gonna do some speculation as well uh, on the other SIRs, uh, which I have been talking about in the previous video as well. Uh, but let's read upon this. Um, now let's actually talk about something else first, because we got some uh, a different story before here as well. Uh, Prismatic Evolutions surprise box to include regular EX prints of Evolutions. So uh, some people for some reason thought they would actually put uh, special illustration rares in this surprise box and I was like why would they do that like if they're if they're super hard to pull in the main set uh, or if they're like the highest pulls in the main set why would they just put it in a surprise box I mean that would not make sense to me like maybe a full art or so would have been understandable but I'm not too surprised that they decided to put in uh, the regular EXs. Um, and like they say, here over here includes one of nine promo cards, but they're actually not promo cards. They're actually, as you can see, uh, there's the actual number and the, and the, of the card in the set. Um, it is interesting though, because it says... 75 out of 131 like is there only 131 main cards i don't really know what that is all about uh it does it is kind of interesting though like we see this prismatic evolutions stamp on it is that the exclusive part of these cards i mean it might be we haven't really seen something like this i think the the stamps most often they put them on like regular cards, right? Not on EX cards or others. Like, it is cool. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, we can actually check it out, right? I mean, we haven't really seen any other stamps. Um, I mean, there's not a stamp on the EV from the ETB. And usually the promo from the ETB is a card that is included in the Japanese set. Uh, so yeah, so I think this Prismatic Evolutions uh, logo, this stamp, makes these exclusive to the EX box, these are um, surprise boxes. That is kind of neat though, that is really cool. Let's read upon this news actually to start off with. We're gonna go back to the <laughs> SIRs and we're gonna talk a lot about that as well, uh, believe me. Let's see here, um, so the product contents of the Prismatic Evolution surprise box have been has been revealed on the Pokemon Center. It will come with one of the regular EV, EX or Evolutions EX cards from Prismatic Evolutions, but with a special set stamp. That is really that is kind that is really cool. Like guys, that is a, a similar thing like they like they do with the Pokemon Center stamp. Uh, but actually, I like this stamp a lot more. 
I just like the logo of Prismatic Evolutions a lot. Uh, but that is that is really cool. That that is gonna make this box pretty popular, I think. Uh, this the, the stamp alone, because like without the stamp, it's not really that that special. As you can get these EXs in the regular set, then as not too rare of cards, probably. Um, yeah, it will cost twenty two ninety nine. The box. I mean, that is kind of cheap because I haven't seen them. At, for that price over here, the lowest that I've seen them for is 25 euros. Uh, as posted before, it will come with four packs of the set, four card dividers and a code card. So for the packs alone, it, it's actually already between 16 and 20 dollars, I'd say. So uh, it's actually a decent value that they put into that. Um, so we see everything that is going to oh oh th these are nice dividers oh my god oh and that's wait that is kind of different we see that the usually with dividers uh the like extra part on it like the part that sticks out usually is at the top of the divider and is always the same with with the dividers here it's on the side and it's uh, and it's different for every one, for every single one. Now I'm very curious and I assume that uh, we know what the other side is going to look like. I assume on the other side of Umbreon is going to be Espeon, perhaps. Uh, and on the other side from Leafeon is probably going to be uh, Glaceon. I don't know, with Jolteon is probably going to be Vaporeon or is it going to be the other side of... Um, Flareon and then uh, Sylveon with one of the other ones. That is unique. I really like those. That's kind of cool. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, these look really nice. These might be the best dividers I've ever seen, actually. <laughs> Listen to me getting excited about like the art on dividers, but I mean, I like it a lot. Okay, that is cool. I mean, I haven't read, a po read upon this actually, guys. I'm just reading this for the first time too. Uh, but okay, that is cool. But the main <laughs> focus of today's video, of course, is going to go to the SIRs for all the evolutions. Oh my God, like, was this a mistake? I don't think this was supposed to be leaked, right? Let's read this. Here they come, the special illustration rares of EV EX and its evolution EX have been revealed for or revealed it's not a leak wait for prismatic evolutions they were revealed on the opposite side of the two-sided poster that comes in the prismatic evolutions poster collection it appears that Umbreon is once again in front of the moon uh, Espeon appears to be in front of the Sun of course they have to talk about Umbreon <laughs> we all know that Umbreon is the one that has the highest potential here to be the most valuable car in the entire set and it's it's probably going to be it's probably going to be their translations and regular ex prints were revealed last week uh, you can see the rest of the prismatic evolution products here we have seen that before but oh my god guys oh my god like first of all i did not expect this i don't know i hope we get some high definition, some high quality um, renders of these cards soon. Uh, I'm gonna give my opinion on like which ones are my favorite and I mean, but Jesus Christ, like I did not expect this to come this soon. I expected to them to maybe drop one SIR maybe, in a couple of days, I don't know, or a couple, but all of them of the evolutions, I mean, that is insane. Like the hype was not high enough already as it is. People are gonna go nuts for this. People will go nuts for this. Like the demand has been so high already without people knowing the cards. If people see this, Oh my god, I, I don't think we've, we've, we are going to ever have seen, my sentences don't even make sense right now. <laughs> oh my god, like, 
I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm kind of afraid what is going to happen. This is the like what I see right now. I assume that this is going to be the best set in like ever. I I don't know. Like if you watch my channel regularly, you probably know my favorite set of all time is Crown Zenith. Um for like obvious reasons I'm, I'm surely not the only one that has that opinion i think it's i think it's better than evolving skies uh actually uh and it's a lot more fun to open seeing this though of course we have to see a lot of the other cards still but these are the only sirs that we've seen so far and they look like this man um now from what we see right here and I'm not really, like my favorite evolution, I don't know, is probably, I'd say Espeon. Um, I like Glaceon and Leafeon as well, like Jolteon too. Uh, I think like Sylveon is my least favorite evolution for some reason. Uh, I think like it's, it's, when it came out, I didn't really have the feeling that it's, I don't know, it was different to me. It, it got a different vibe than all the other evolutions. Um, it's it's not just, I don't know, it doesn't really actually matter what, I'm, what I think about it. It will go crazy either way, but I love the card that it's in though. Um, but from all these, I think my favorites are like, Umbreon looks phenomenal. Like, even if we don't have a sharp render of this card, like, this this seems like one of the best arts I've seen ever. Same thing actually for the Leafeon. The Leafeon looks gorgeous. I love this. Uh, I think Leafeon and Umbreon are my favorite arts here. Maybe Sylveon is kind of nice too. We Like they said, um, um, Espeon seems to be in front of the sun. That could, that could be really nice, but there's not a, it's not sharp enough to see what actually is going on. Um, I think like Leafeon... Sylveon, Umbreon look the best, in my opinion. Jolteon is kind of cool as well, it seems like. Uh, but we need some sharper renders to really make a final uh, judgment, I think, um, for that. Um, but yeah, wow. Like, what do you think about the Umbreon? <sighs> I don't know, guys. Um, will this surpass the Moonbreon? That is, of course, something that is on everybody's mind. Um, will this beat the Moonbreon? I think it could. I think it could. Uh, and I don't think... Like, the crown here with the crystals, it doesn't look bad here. They made it look good, in my opinion. Uh, I think maybe uh, from these arts, maybe Vaporeon or, or Glaceon are my least favorite. I don't know. I'd have to see sharper images of it, but damn, that is insane. Um, now, because we know this, I was actually not sure whether we would get all the evolutions um, in this set. I mean, not the SIRs. Because, uh, like, I was thinking maybe they would make some of them promos, but this is confirmation that they are all in the set. It is, we cannot really see it, but... I don't think they would put this together on the back of the poster if not all of them were actually in the set to pull from, right? So we got all nine of these SIRs, Terra type SIRs, and in the information that we've gotten before, let's see here, it says we got 10 Pokemon EXs and 15 Terra Pokemon EXs. So we know nine of the Terra type EXs. So that makes uh, for six more Terra type EXs. Um, now I don't, I'm not sure what is going to happen right now and when we are going to get more information on the rest of the cards. Like I said in the previous video, uh, Justin Basil and uh, and um, and Poke Beach were saying that they might get some more information in the next two weeks uh, about the nine generation decks. 
Uh, and that would be very interesting because if we know what is in the g nine generation decks, we probably know what is going to be in uh, Prismatic Evolutions. Uh, will they put SIRs from, um, from some of those Pokemon in the set or in the decks? I have no idea. I have no idea. I hope so. Um, but man, like this is gonna, this is gonna go nuts, guys. This is not gonna be normal. Like this, people were going crazy already. Absolutely crazy. Already having nine SIRs like this. I I really think this could be the best set that they've that they've ever made. Now I, I don't. I'm not talking about competitive. Obviously, I don't know anything about competitive. Basically, um, I'm just talking about the art and the collectability. Um, I mean, it also depends, of course, on the pull rates. Um, I, I do kind of. Something tells me that they might uh, give Prismatic Evolutions a bit of an easier pull rate for SIRs than they've done with the previous sets, like with Surging Sparks, Twilight Masquerade, Stellar Crown, Temporal Forces. Um, I think they might increase the chances of you pulling an SIR in this set, just because this set like ha reminds me a lot of uh, Crown Zenith, just because of the amount of SIRs, and because it is a holiday set, and the time, the period it comes out. So, it would not surprise me. And in that case, the prices of these cards will definitely not be as high as the ones from Evolving Skies. Uh, if the pull rates uh, are, are easier, then yeah, it will probably not go higher. Uh, but imagine if they don't make the pull rates easier. These cards are gonna go nuts. <laughs> These guards are absolutely, uh, actually gonna go nuts. I don't think they will do that though. I think it. I think they will get uh, give us easier pull rates because of the like what this set is. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys, because this just blows my mind. This actually just blows my mind. I can't wait to see more info on uh, on the set actually. Wow. It, it is also interesting though, like look at the back of the poster. It's interesting to me that this is in landscape mode. Because the front of the poster is in portrait mode. So it's not actually the same as we've gotten with 151, because the 151 poster uh, was like both sides were in portrait, portrait mode. I mean that's kind of awkward like if you will if you have two posters for example and you wouldn't you want to put them next to one another, it would not fit right but i like it i like it a lot don't get me wrong like why I, i'm still thinking like why did they actually put the sirs on the back of that poster that is insane that they've done that like with 151 they put all the pokemon the art of the regular cards of the pokemon on the on the poster but not any uh of the i don't think they put any of the trainer cards on them uh, or any of the illustrations, uh, illustration rares or the SIRs, golds, whatever. They did not do that. Right here they just, they just put all the top cards of the set on the back of the poster. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. If you were not convinced yet that this is gonna do better than 151, I mean... How, what much, What more do you need? We just got 9 SIRs. Uh, I believe... I think 151 only has... How many SIRs has one, do, does 151 have? Like 8 or 10? We have Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Uh, we have Zapdos, Alakazam. Those are the only Pokemon, right? With SIRs? And then we got... Um, Erica, then we got Giovanni. That's it, right? Is there's only seven? Only seven or eight SIRs in 151. Of course, in the Japanese set, you only have you also have the Mew and such, but 
Like, here we already got nine. This is already more, and they're all super popular too. We haven't even seen any of the other ones, like... I, in my opinion, there's no doubt about it. This is gonna blow 151 away, and this... Like, the only thing that might keep this from being better than um, Evolving Skies when it goes... Val when we're talking value-wise, is if the pull rates are, like, easier. I think that is the only way that this does not beat Evolving Skies. Um, if the pull rates from this are the same like they were with the last couple of sets, this is gonna beat Evolving Skies, I think. I think this is gonna beat Evolving Skies. That's just my thought on it, guys. We, I mean, we don't know. We just don't know, but that is what I feel. Oh my god, I don't know what to say guys, I'm really speechless right now, um, I'm just giving you my thoughts, I'm flabbergasted, like, I'm blown away that they just revealed this. Let me know also what is your favorite card out of this, I mean, I'm actually, I'm 100% sure that the Umbreon is going to be the card to chase once again, there's no doubt about it. But then the question is which one is going to go next from all of these? Um, like I said, like Sylveon is my least favorite evolution, but this card looks gorgeous in my opinion too. Um, I think for me, uh, the Umbreon might be number one, Leafeon number two, and then number three I think Sylveon or maybe, I don't know, Jolteon? It depends. I hope we get like like I said. I hope we get high the high uh, quality renders of these uh, of these cards too. But oh wow, <laughs> it's just like funny to me. Like how what what was Pokemon thinking, revealing this all of this at once? I would probably not have leaked this or revealed the back of this poster. <laughs> that is just absolute madness. I'm just thinking what to say, but I think I'm gonna leave it right here. I would not be surprised if there's more news coming like tomorrow or the day after with maybe some extra cards that are in the set i mean the last couple of days weeks have been absolutely crazy <laughs> the amount of videos that i've done on updates alone uh man it's so hyped and i mean guys yeah gotta be honest like a lot of people <sighs> go into the hype so am i that's just because I love the the art on the cards, uh, I'd love to see the cards. I understand there's a lot of people of course that do it for the money and do it only for the money. Um, and I also understand that if, uh, if there was no value to these cards, a lot of us would not be here uh, to, to still do this hobby, but like, I can't wait to see these cards. Oh my god, like... Oh god, I could I could go on and on about this, I'm just gonna quit. Because by this time probably nobody is still watching the video. Um, guys, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Give your thoughts in the comment section down below. What is your favorite card out of these nine? Um, what is your favorite evolution? What's your least favorite evolution? How excited are you for this set? Like we haven't... <laughs> I'm still, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. <laughs> I'm now. I'm wondering, like, like, what are the other SIRs? There's six more Terra type SIR, uh, Terra type EXs, and there's ten regular EXs. I'm too excited right now. I'm too excited. Uh, if, if I can, I will pre-order more stuff. It's hard to tell, of course. We don't know anything from the sets that come after this. Uh, like Battle Partners and um, and Team Rocket. But how are they going to top this set? I don't know, man. I think the only thing that will make a huge impact on the success of this set or on the value of, the, of this set is the pull rates. I think that's the only thing that can hold this back just a little. And I'm saying just a little because the demand for this is ridiculous the, the demand for this set is ridiculous and everybody that is fan a fan of pokemon cards 
will buy this set, right? Uh, there's no way that Battle Partners or, uh, or Team Rocket will have 32 SIRs. There's no way. The demand is there. The art is there from what we see right now. So I think the only thing that can hold this back just a little is, is, is the pull rates. Yeah, guys. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do another attempt to, to, to stop this video. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, well, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Uh, and check out some of my other uh, update videos or some openings on the channel. Um, we're doing actually pretty good with the subscriber count um, lately. And I, I feel like it's still possible to hit 1K uh, in 2024. So please, if you want to be part of that, uh, consider subscribing. Um, that would be fantastic. I would be very appreciative for that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye.